Hello, good evening, how are you? Join me as I take an engine out from under the bench, give it a clean, give it some parts, and see if it starts. This engine in particular came from a Camaro. I don't believe it was its original engine, so it's a Mystery 350. Here we go, uh, taking some of the stuff off the top and making sure she's good enough to be sauced up and cleaned. Got some Mr. Muscle on the action here. Nice uh, stiff bristle brush gets in there and gets the oil all kind of mucked up. Give it a little coat. Up on the top, this aluminum, it can be tricky to plug those holes. Just keep uh, poking around and cleaning and working and juicing her up with all this grease. Oh yeah, the back here definitely leaked a few gallons. Huh, well, we're starting to get kind of loosened up here and seeing some orange. That's nice. Number uh, two brush on the corners. Cylinder head areas can be uh, quite tricky because the paint will be flaky. Nevertheless, we prevail and move on to the passenger side, and uh, that's good enough. These uh, rusty valve covers get a little treatment from the steel wool. Oh, yeah. Moroso. No bolts in these. These are the floater model. Oh, yeah. She's coming back around. I should just pull out this PCB hose. Nah, I'll just leave it. Oh yeah. Well, first clean revealed a uh, pretty good looking uh, blue orange rust engine. Uh, pretty happy with the results so far. I think I'm going to take it a step further and uh, clean off all this cleaner with another uh, coat of water and blow off all the wet, you know, the loose paint. I'm seeing a lot of blue in here. Let's uh, get a little bit deeper. Steam cleaner is the, the way to go to really uh, heat up the surface and release the oil. Again, these uh, bolts in here, they can be tricky if you're going to be painting. You want to spend some good time in there. Uh, back to the massive oil spill area. Oh, totally blue. Could this have been a Chevrolet in a Pontiac in Canada? We'll find out. Oh, we got some white, likely uh, primer. Front's definitely had its fair share of oil leaks. You know, this is a Chevrolet engine, so it will do that. Get some compressed air on the scene here and blow it all down. And look at that, just a, a tidy little gem. Well, old feller, you still got it in ya? It did shoot a fireball approximately eight inches. Well, the uh, ash film's pretty volatile. Excuse me, Mr. Groundwater, what are you doing out this time of night alone? Why well, do you have heart pipes here? Huh? Are you one of them sad boy Miatas? Yeah, yeah. how'd you know?
Powering. Yeah. Or it just needs that much fuel, man. This is a healthy motor. Success. Yeah, it's a it's a engine. All it needs now is a fan on the back, and we can ride this to work. Hi, welcome back. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>